various components of network pen testing. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, we are going to learn about network pen testing components and I will also try to explain you about those components with how we can divide network pen testing into two parts and uh, I will sh tell you about when I will list it. So these are the two components available inside network server side pen testing and client side pen testing. Right. So I categorize network pen testing into two parts server side as well as client side. Server side is basically uh, like uh, where the servers are located and client side where all the clients are working inside your network like office work. So let's start with server side pen testing that what is server side pen testing so pen testing at network level components. So the components which are working at network side that is called server side and if you try to pen test those components so that is called server side pen testing. For example, firewall penetration because firewall is basically at server side. So this is server side penetration testing. IDS intrusion detection system is always available at the server side. That is IDS penetration is server side pen testing. Router pen testing. Router is also available in network side. So if you try to penetrate a router, then it will be called server side pen testing or server directly server. So you have a server, and if you try to pen test your server to find out the loopholes or weakness inside it so that is also considered in server side pen testing. so these are the components in server side pen testing there are other components are also available uh, but these are the most one so you can see here that the devices which are connected at the network side and client is not able to communicate with them directly so that is called server side pen testing at the network side all the components if you try to pen test these kind of components or devices that is called server side pen testing. I hope you have understood. Next is client side pen testing. That's quite easy. For example, office space where all the employees are working, that all are the clients. They have their operating system. So if pen tests are trying to exploit their operating system at client side, so that is considered into client side pen testing. And application pen testing, for example, if in client system applications are working or softwares are working. If pen tester is trying to exploit those softwares, so that is called application penetration testing. For example, if PHP is uh, working, which is not passed, right? You are using still using the older version of PHP, so that is considered inside client side pen testing or application pen testing, which is working inside your operating system. So these are the two components according to me. So if we talk about a section summary that what we have learned in this section. So first of all, we have learned about the installation of operating systems. Then we have learned that how we can update our operating system. Then we have learned about network pen testing basics. And finally, we have learned about what are the components available inside network pen testing. So this is all about the section and I hope you have enjoyed it. In the next section, we are going to learn about network pen testing, network scanning techniques. Thank you.